Hey there, Ian Ugarte here, smallersnewbig.com.au. Behind me here is one of our businesses that should be opening. It should have opened um, yesterday, but it hasn't opened yesterday because um, there was some concreting work that needs to be done next to that fire um, hydrant there to be able to get the final sign off. Now, people ask me, Ian, I thought you were in property. Why have you got these other businesses that run? The reason I've got other businesses that run is that I've been following a mentor, a pretty big mentor that most people would know, and he has a um, absolute theory that has been recognized, and that is, if you have a global financial crisis that absolutely wipes out the majority of businesses, you need to have eight businesses in different and separate areas to be able to have a 50% chance of survival. So you think about this, I looked at, Christine and I looked at our portfolio of, of businesses and the majority of them were in some way property related. So we've had to find a way to be able to branch out and find different avenues of revenue. Now they don't have to be businesses that make absolute truckloads of money, they just need to be turning over. So what you can do is then take those businesses, if there is a big financial crisis, shut down the ones or slow down the ones that could be at danger and then put more concentration on the businesses that are on the side and offshoot in different areas. Now, if you want an 80% chance of survival in a massive financial meltdown, you need to have 15 businesses in different related areas to be able to survive. So this is my theory. Get in. Get into a business that does really well for yourself and then make sure that you diversify in small incremental amounts. Why did we choose F45 at Bly Bly as a startup franchise? I'm not a franchise person by favor. I don't really like the concept of franchise, but I've got a business here that is always advancing and always making sure that they get to the next level. The Kodak moment used to be that moment that you would snapshot and find the beautiful picture. The Kodak moment is now the moment where the board of directors decided that the first digital camera that Kodak invented wasn't going to be put to the market and 18 months later Kodak went from a multi-billion dollar company to actually being completely broke. So the Kodak moment for you is what can I do right now and then how do I branch off and diversify in small amounts without putting too much to risk so that I've got a better portfolio of businesses that return me. Make sure that you follow what we do, smallersnewbig.com.au, follow through onto that and we'll see you very soon.